Welcome back to YouTube, you guys. My name is Kristen Forgione. I'm the founder, creative director, and principal designer of The Lifestyle Deco. And you have me pretty raw and real today. I have no makeup on. I just did a skincare treatment. So after I did it, I knew I had to film. And I was thinking, oh my God, I should get ready and put makeup on, but I don't want to put anything on this fresh skin. So here I am, I'm on YouTube with you guys, um, just hanging out at home. And I thought you'd probably like it. I get a lot of requests over on Instagram. My personal account is at Kristen Forgione and our brand account is at The Lifestyle Co. To show you more on YouTube of kind of the raw and the real, um, we of course know you love house tours, but you also always ask to see my home. So today it's just you and me and my camera and my tripod here in my kitchen. We have lived at the ODL house for nine months now and I thought, based on how many requests I get, it would be a perfect time to take you through my kitchen design and what I would leave or what I would do again, what didn't work out the way I thought it would, what did. I get tons of questions from you guys. I think probably because I'm a professional interior designer and this is my personal home, um, I think there's a lot of questions around like, you know, did it work out the way I thought it would? Um, after designing other people's kitchens for 10 years, what of that did I put here? And am I still super into what can I endorse? all the things. So now that it's been nine months, I feel like I probably have a little bit better uh, foundation to walk you through all that stuff. So I'm going to give you the quick version of what I like, what I don't like, and kind of let you in on my personal thoughts on my kitchen design. This video is also sponsored by Caraway. Caraway is an amazing line of non-toxic ceramic coated cookware. So pots and pans, and I'm going to give you a closer look at those here in just a little bit, but I'm excited to dive in with you. Thanks for being here. Let's get started. The number one question I get about my kitchen is, are typically questions about my range. So I will tell you all the details about my range here in a second, but what I want you to notice right now is my Caraway kitchenware. These pots and pans have truly changed my life. First of all, I've been cooking on them for probably two months and look at how incredibly clean they are. They still look brand new. I am also a cast iron cooking fiend. So I typically have my cast iron pan right here. And since getting the Caraway pans, I have not been using it near as much. And there's a couple reasons. One, this is ceramic coated. Cast iron, of course, is iron and can transmit iron. Um, the Caraway pans are designed with your health in mind and not only are non-stick, but also are ceramic coated. So completely non-toxic. There's not gonna be any weird chemical transfer, any toxicity coming from the pan onto your food, which is super important to me. Um, obviously, I'm in the business of aesthetics, so I'm always looking for aesthetically pleasing everything. I have a little saying in my office where I'm like, listen, if I had to buy a hot pink trash can, um, I'd probably go without the trash can because I, it just like doesn't feel good to me. <laughs> so even though I'm thinking I probably have a hot pink trash can in one of my girls' rooms, but um, you get the point, right? So I'm always looking for aesthetically pleasing things that can help um, assist in just the overall vibe of my home, of clients' homes, anywhere I am, that's kind of what I tend to naturally gravitate towards. So I'm so impressed with these pots and pans. One, I love the sleek curvature of them. They just look like pretty and luxe and they are so heavy, such, such good quality. I, I truly love them. Um, they're also designed for premium storage or storage solution. So they, they, it comes with a magnetic base for each piece that just slides right in. They also clamp together so you don't have to separate them. So they look, they, they store best when they're all next to each other. Um, I love the handle. I love how substantial it feels. I love the size of this lip on the pan. Um, as you guys know, if you follow me on, on Instagram over at Kristen Forgione, I cook almost every single night. Sometimes, especially on the weekends, I like to say we eat well on the weekend, I cook at least twice a day. So I feel pretty qualified in being able to tell you how amazing these pans are. With the pots and pans, you also receive the tops and this canvas hanging bag, which is just so gorgeous. I haven't figured out exactly where I'm gonna hang this yet. Um, so I've had it just in my drawer. I'm thinking maybe my pantry, just because I really do love how they just like file straight down like that and they're so, easy to see. So this comes with the purchase of the set. Um, and let me show you how well they fit on. So this is for the Dutch oven. Look at that. It's just like, listen to the sound. Can't you hear quality? You can hear the quality in the sound. Um, so I love the Dutch oven. I cook in this all the time. 
Um, the frying pan also, or the saute pan, um, I also use a lot. Um, this top goes on this one. Look at how beautiful they look with the tops on. <laughs> that also. Um, so my favorite thing about Caraway, as I mentioned, I would say is prop, I mean, I'm torn. I would say it's probably the aesthetic, but I'm also a, a cook, a, a chef at heart. So um, the way that they, that the actual cooking opportunity that you get from using the kitchenware, um, the pots and pans, I think is superior and definitely rivals my cast iron cookware as well, which is hard to do because before I got these, I was not a believer in any way um, with how much I love cooking on cast iron. And so I think they, they were very much rival that. So I have an offer for you. So let's start out simple. First thing I love about my kitchen design is my pot filler. I'm sure you've seen pot fillers in a ton of kitchens all over Pinterest and Instagram and definitely all over our work because we pretty much put them in every single project. But my pot filler, I use almost every day. It is the best if you have a large format cooking surface. And frankly, even if you don't, even if you have a 30 inch range of some kind, I feel like a pot filler is definitely worth running the extra plumbing to and I use it every single day. I also use it to fill, fill my bases. So this particular pot filler, which we'll link in the description, um, has so much movability to it that it can almost span my entire 60 inch range. And like I said, I use it for big bases or anytime I need to fill, fill something up big. I also use it for like my watering can if I'm just running in here, I need to fill something up and then running outside. So um, pot filler for one is definitely a must have and I'm super happy with. Um, next, I know you're wondering about more details on my Ilve. So my range is the Ilve Nostalgie 60 inch dual fuel range. I love it. I'm going to be completely honest with you. You know I'm a cook. We've already talked about this on this video and on Instagram. Um, I didn't select it for the cooking. I selected it for the aesthetic because I wanted an Italian or French range. I wanted this like beautiful, bespoke, um, legacy heritage piece in my kitchen. Um, if you watch the videos of the ODL house, we have a full kitchen reveal and you will see just how expansive the kitchen is. My island is 17 feet, so I have a big space and I knew I wanted the range and the hood moment to really anchor the kitchen and be a focal, which that's part of the kitchen design that I'm still so, so happy with and I think I always will be. So um, I selected it for the aesthetic and if anyone tells you that they selected Ilve for anything other than the aesthetic, I think they're lying to you because it is so freaking beautiful. Um, I think I'm going to do a separate video on my actual review of the Ilve and how I use it. So, um, it definitely is a learning curve to it, but I feel like if I get into this now, I might miss some of the opportunity and lose you guys on some of the kitchen design that I know some of you really want to hear about. So stay tuned. I will do another video on how it actually functions and, and what I love about it and what I don't. But, um, for the most part, I would say I give it like an eight out of 10. 10 out of 10 for aesthetic. Um, I think where the eight comes in is it, it does, it has a learning curve to it. So it's not just gonna be that like, turn it on and watch it go and cook your food perfectly type of cooking unit. It's just not. So it has a learning curve. I'm gonna show you how I cook most of my food with my pamphlet right here, my instruction manual as to how to cook. I have Paige's dog eared um, because I know how to cook, but um, this thing does, it, ha it has a learning curve to it. So it's that professional level, um, that professional le level Euro type of cooking. And so it's just a little bit different. So that's where the eight, the eight out of 10 comes from, but I absolutely love it. I have, like I mentioned, the 60 inch, inch nostalgia dual fuel. We have liquid propane. You can get it in liquid propane or natural gas. Um, this is the stainless steel and polished brass, which I, which I absolutely love. I can also tell you while I'm here, I was a little bit worried about this polished brass matching the unlacquered polished brass I have in my kitchen and the other polished brass like this that I have in my kitchen. This is not Ilve, it's not from the same manufacturer. So if you're out there and you're specking polished brass and you want everything to match absolutely perfectly, it pretty much either has to be eye sampled, so you're getting samples from each manufacturer and making sure that they are exact matches, or you have to spec from the exact same manufacturer. 
I can tell you as a professional design team, we do that like 0% of the time, just because it's pretty much impossible to have all of the exact same brass at the highest level, because each manufacturer that does a brass finish is really good at different things. So like who we love in a kitchen faucet isn't necessarily who we love in a pot filler, or um, we're looking for a different line. So I can tell you, I have a whole bunch of different brasses in my kitchen. It all works beautifully. Um, they all complement each other wonderfully and they're not exact matches. So um, that's kind of it on my Ilve right now, but yes, I absolutely love it. This is something that I would not change. I love my hood. I love how big it is. It's 84 inches wide. Um, it's nice and high off of my cooktop, which I really like. My husband is 6'4", although he doesn't cook a lot. He does cook breakfast and we wanted him to, of course, be able to see what he's cooking and not hit his head on the hood. Um, let's see, what's next? Okay, let me take you over here. Next thing I still am so happy with is my sink situation. So yes, there are three faucets and sometimes it gets a lot of shit here on YouTube for the excess that is three faucets. And yes, it is. I mentioned I have a 17 foot island. When you come off of my entryway, um, you see the great room and you see the island and you take in the jewels of the kitchen, which are these faucets. So um, there's two for each farmhouse apron front sink and then one in the middle. And this one in the middle is envisioned to go to either side, so it hops over, it does that. Yes, it gets water if you don't shut it off between the two, but I tend to do it all the time. So there are two sinks, two garbage disposals, three faucets, and then on either side of each sink is a dishwasher. Um, I mean, true happiness. Like now that I have two sinks and two dishwashers, I don't quite know how I would ever not have two sinks and two dishwashers. Okay, now something that I don't love like I thought I would. So this is one of my refrigerators. So it's refrigerator, freezer drawer or fridge drawer, and then lower freeze. I have one on each side of my kitchen and I mentioned how large the kitchen is. I love the aesthetic value of that. Like I absolutely love that it flanks kind of my whole kitchen perimeter run. But unless you know where each thing is in the fridge, it can be kind of annoying. So because I live here, I of course know what I have in that fridge and what I have in this fridge. And the way we organize it is like all of our fruits and vegetables, sauces, um, like leftovers, meats, that kind of stuff goes in that fridge freezer. And then in this fridge freezer is dairy, cheese, um, lunch meat, drinks, orange juice, milk, yogurt, that kind of stuff. So I like to think it makes sense, but I have found like when my mom's over and she's helping me do stuff or even Vince sometimes when he's cooking in the kitchen cause he's not in here every single day, he's asking me where things are. Or my mom, she doesn't have really a, an understanding of where each thing is cause she's just like not here enough. So, and it's kind of a long way to walk, right? So when you're over here and you need something in this fridge, it just kind of, I don't know, I'm indifferent. So I love aesthetically the way it looks, but functionally it's not my favorite thing. Another thing that ended up not my favorite thing is black cabinets. So I had black cabinets at my old house. And of course we design using black cabinetry all the time, but I didn't have as much. So my old island was like this big, like 72 inches wide. This island is 17 feet and it's just a lot of cabinet. And I think because we have two sinks, two dishwashers, two trash cans, two of everything in the island, the black cabinetry is so dirty. Like I cannot keep it clean. So not my favorite. I still think even if you would have told me when I was designing it, that the maintenance would be what it is on the black cabinetry, I still would have done it. So if you're out there trying to decide if you should do black cabinets, do it. But just know that you're gonna have to clean them, I think more maybe than um, say a white cabinet. I do also love here, you can see these open boxes. I don't know if you'll be able to see the light. Oh, you can kind of see it. So they have LED light in them. I love it night we turn these on. I love that it feels like market style. Do you hear my ice machine dropping right now? <laughs> I love that it feels market style. I was going for that like chef's exhibition kitchen, like grab plateware or a mug, make coffee, plate up, plate things up. Um, this is where I've been storing my caraway cookware too, down here at the kitchenware. So I still absolutely love these. They do get dusty. I think that's another thing kind of present in my kitchen. Um, having windows in the kitchen, something I absolutely love. I do not regret it anyway. I'm so glad I have windows in my kitchen. I love the view outside, we have a mountain view and I love that. 
Um, but it does seem like the dust for whatever reason is like attracted to the light. And so I'm constantly dusting all of the things in the kitchen because there's a lot of dust present. We're in Arizona, there's a lot of dust anyway you cut it. So that's that. Something else I am super happy with in my kitchen design are these chef drawers that are actually on the opposite side of my island. I love that they're lit. I love how much storage they provide. So this is where I keep most of my big serving ware. They're so easy to get into. They do not have hardware or a top, so you just stick your hand in like this and pull out. I love how they look lit. I just feel like they really help take up some of this space over these 17 feet that I had to work with on my island. Okay, you've gotta get low with me on this one. Um, but this is our dog water station. Um, we have a black lab named King and a little corgi named Linda. And this has been amazing. I love this, that you can just turn it on, give them water. Um, <clears throat> this was a vintage pop filler that I actually got on Etsy that's from Morocco. I love it, I love the shape of it. It's so beautiful. From a design standpoint, I'm so happy that we basically waterproofed this hole inside and laid our slab in it. I'm not super happy about the fact that <clears throat> I didn't have a ton of options because of where the island positioning is to make the flooring waterproofed. This is our wood, and I really thought that King, our big lab, would be able to like get his head far enough in there that he wouldn't get water everywhere, but he's getting water everywhere. So <laughs> I need, I think I need to get like a silicone mat. I'm a little bit worried about the silicone mat and water getting trapped under it, which would be even worse for our wood than just leaving exposed and wiping it up all the time. So I give this like a nine out of 10. It's so amazing. It's so convenient. It's obviously like a show-stopping design piece. Um, but I think the fact that it's slowly probably damaging my wood is not the best. <laughs> Okay, the last thing I'm gonna leave you with today that I still absolutely love, I'm so, so glad I did it, is my marble quartz combo. So my quartz is from Vidara, it's called Sereno Gold. It is the absolute best quartz I have ever found that has that Calcutta look veining. It's a perfect creamy, whitey shade, um, and it has just this beautiful warm tone brown bronze veining that looks as close to Calcutta marble as I have been able to find. So I was a little bit insecure about placing quartz and marble, each with veining so close together, but it turned out so beautifully. I love it so much. This um, is, hang on, it's coming to me. Calcutta Vagley, I believe. It's been a while since I looked at the spec, but I'll link it for you or at least put it in the description once I verify, but I'm pretty sure it's Calcutta, Calcutta Vagley or Vagley, it's gotta be Vagley, I don't know, um, but, I love it. It was, there was one slab available. I worked with my fabricator to get it and it's honed. It's got this beautiful shelf up here. I just love how we placed it on the backsplash and I love how, where it meets, it comes together. This is a little bit busier. This, the quartz is a little bit more subdued. It's 2 cm and we just did a single OG edge here. I literally love it. When I clean it, I just like zone out and think, oh my God, I love you so much countertop. So. Um, that's kind of it for today. I will leave you with the Caraway discount code in the description. Um, if you have any questions on it, of course, talk to us in the comments. If you have any questions about my kitchen, talk to us in the comments. I hope you like this just very easy style. We love to high value produce our house tours and a lot of our videos, but I also love the idea of just being able to have you, just you and I here at my house, in this case, in my kitchen, and be able to get to know you a little bit more here on YouTube and have you guys get to know me a little bit more. If you wanna follow me on Instagram for the day-to-day, -day, my handle is at Kristen Forgione. Our brand account is at The Lifestyle Co. And I'll catch you on the next one.